Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the basics of Flipper Clip to create a basic animation where we're going to draw a character. We're going to use layers. We're going to use some of the basic tools of Flipper Clip. Um, and we're going to use lip syncing to make that character talk. So to start, we're going to create a new project by hitting the little plus icon down the bottom. You can name your animation, doesn't matter what you want to call it. And you can see here you have the option of creating a background. Now, if you tap on this little flag icon over here, you can see that there's some scenes that you can choose from. There are a couple of different types of paper that you can choose or textures. Uh, you can choose a um, photo from your library. I like to just use a basic color. So let's just choose this pale blue over here. Now we're gonna keep the canvas size the self. So, so this, Going to keep the canvas size the same so we're not making the file size too big. Uh, we're going to stick to 12 frames per second and I'm going to hit create project to start. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use layers. We're going to animate in separate layers. Now in the basic version of Flip a Clip, you get three different layers. Um, and to access those layers, you can see down in the bottom right here, we've got the frames button to turn those on and off. Um, Currently, we've only got one layer here. Uh, we're going to name these layers just so we can access each one and know which one we're, we're editing. So layer one, we're going to change to body. We're going to create a new layer by hitting that plus sign. We're going to create a layer for the arm. And we're going to create a layer for the head. All right, now the thing is I want the body to be in the background and the arm to be in the foreground. So currently the body's down the bottom, so that means it's in the background. This arm we wanna to move to the top. So I'm just gonna hit those three lines on the left-hand side there and drag that up. So now the arm is in the foreground and the head is in the mid-ground, which is what we want. So just making sure that our body layer is highlighted, we're gonna start drawing the body. And we're going to do that using the pen tool. So we're just going to select the pen tool. Um, make sure that by tapping and holding on that thickness uh, button there, we just want to make sure there are about six or seven. And we're going to keep it at black. And we're just going to draw a basic, basic shape of a body here. Just some kind of squared off shoulders. Um, a couple of arms going down. And we're going to give him a line across the middle of his shirt there. Now we're gonna color it in. So for this tool, we'll use the bucket, the paint bucket tool or the fill tool. I'm just gonna tap and hold on that, change the color to blue, nice dark blue. Um, and that, this number here is the threshold. So that's that's the, um, the amount of pixels that the, the paint bucket will leak through. Um, so if you've got any gaps in your lines, and I think I might have one here, um, if that if that threshold is is set to 100 and I try to fill that, you can see there that because of this teeny little gap in my line here, that paint bucket's been allowed to kind of spill through. So I'm just going to undo that. Um, I can change this threshold, bring it down, um, and you can see there that that has allowed it so that the paint's not going to seep through. It's also kind of given us these white, pixels along the edge here, which don't look great. So the best thing to do is just keep that to 100 and just make sure that you don't have any gaps in your lines. All right, so if you if your paint seeps through, it's probably because you've got a gap. So I'm just gonna use the paint bucket there and just gonna give him this blue colored shirt and I'm gonna put a red stripe across the middle. All right, so there's our body. Next, let's create the head. So let's select our head layer and to do this, we're gonna use a different tool. Get our pen tool, um, and up the top of the screen there, you can see this little ruler icon. So basically all this is, is just a kind of a, like literally a ruler that you can rule along and you, you're gonna be able to get these nice straight lines. All right. We are gonna use the circle option here. So over on the right hand side, you can see there's a circle option. We're gonna drag that and we're just going to get it to, I might just zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. OK, 
can move that head there to a point that I'm happy with and use my pen to trace around it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to use that while I've got the circle tool there, I'm going to give our character here some ears. Let's give him some big ones. After all, we're creating a cartoon here. All right, turn that ruler off. I'm going to use a paint bucket, find myself kind of like a skin color, fill in his head and his ears. Uh, go back to my pen and I'm going to use that ruler again to give him a bit of a nose. A couple of eyes. Some hair. Now, we're not. what we're not going to do is give him a mouth because we are going to animate the face. We're going to animate the, the voice later. So we're just going to leave the mouth blank. All right, so there we've got the body, we've got the head, and we're going to create an arm. Now the arm we're going to get to kind of pop up from the bottom, and we're going to get it to wave. But what we're going to do is draw it here. In, we're going to select the arm layer, and we are going to draw an arm, which is in mid-wave, right? This is kind of... About halfway through the film. All right, so it's gonna might look a little bit unusual there now, um, but we're gonna we're gonna animate it. Um, now, just another thing that you can see here is if I've used a color and I want to use that color again, I've got this little eyedropper tool here, and you can see I can drag that over the picture and select different colors. So if I want that same blue for his sleeve as I've done for the body, then I can do that there. All right, now here's our character. We've got a head, we've got a body, we've got an arm. So far we've only got one layer in our film, but we're gonna be adding some more. Before we do that though, we're going to record myself uh, saying the line, which is gonna be hi there or hello there, that the character's gonna speak. Um, so I'm gonna do that by hitting these little, this little music icon here. Um, I'm going to hit the microphone button up the top there and this is going to open up this window where I can record that line of dialogue. So when I'm ready, I'm going to hold down that button and I'm going to speak into the microphone. Hello there. So you can see there, that's my recording. It's recorded there. You can see the wave patterns as my voice gets uh, higher and lower. I've also got the option here to trim it so I can get rid of any excess if I need to. When I'm happy with that, hit the tick, and then I can just drag that any, onto any track there um, and play it back if I want to hear what it sounds like. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. Hello there. Now, when I'm happy with that, I'll just hit that uh, top left little arrow button, and that'll bring me down to the main um, menu here. So we've got the recording. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. So you can see we've only got one frame of animation. So now it's time to animate uh, the film and I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next video.